Assalamualaikum. अच्छा बुलाले हैं मत बोनिया साहब तिलावत أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفأ عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يخيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده خفزهما وهو العلي العظيم Translation Numan Khan Sahib Islam English translation of Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 256. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Allah, there is no God but Him, the living, the self-subsisting, the all-sustaining. Slumber seizes Him not, nor sleep. To Him belongs whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. Who is He that will intercede with Him except by His permission? He knows what is before them and what is behind them, and they encompass nothing of his knowledge except what he pleases. His knowledge extends over the heavens and the earth, and the care of them burdens him not, and he is the high, the great. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Kalam Hazrat Khalifa al Masisani, Razilla Tala. Me tera daricho de kay jau kaha. Me tera दर छोड़ कर जाऊं कहा चैन दिल आराम जा पाऊं कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊं कहा 
जानगर रो कहा रो बता यानगर रो कहा रो बता या न चिल्लाओ तो चिल्लाओ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा तेरे आगे हाथ फैलाऊ नगर तेरे आगे हाथ फैलाऊ नगर किस के आगे और फैलाऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा चैन दिल आरा में जा पाऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा जा तो तेरे दर पे कुर्बान हो गई जा तो तेरे दर पे कुर्बान हो गई सर को फिर मैं और टकराऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा दिल ही था सो वो भी तुझको दे दिया दिल ही था सो वो भी तुझको दे दिया अब मैं उम्मीदों को दफनाऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा कसरते सिया से दामन तर हुआ कसरते सिया से दामन तर हुआ अब रे अश के तो बबर साऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छो छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा चैन दिल आरा में जा पाऊ कहा मैं तेरा दर छोड़ कर जाऊ कहा जाऊ कहा जाऊ कहा रिपोर्ट निर्दिन शम साहेब आऊजुबिल्लाहिमिन शैतान रजीम बिस्मिल्लाहिर रहमान रहीम सैयदना व इमामना हजरत मीरुल मोमिनीन खलीफतुलमसी खामिस अयदकमल्लाजीज आवर बिलव हजूर कॉन्फ्रेंस डेलीगेट्स फ्राम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड स्टाफ ऑफ एम टी इंटरनेशनल असलम वरहल वबरक हजूर वी हम्बली वेलकम यू टू आवर एनुअल एम टी ए डिनर विच ऑल्सो मार्क्स द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द फोर्थ एम टी ए इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस द एम ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस इज टू इम्प्रूव कम्युनिकेशन and collaboration between our international studios through presentations discussions and workshops 
By the grace of Allah, this year we had 48 delegates attending from the following 20 countries. Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Egypt, France, Germany, Ghana, Holland, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Kababir, Mauritius, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Sweden, Switzerland, UK, and USA. This is compared to an attendance of 39 delegates from 20 countries in 2014 and 31 delegates from 16 countries in 2013. Many countries have benefited from regularly attending each year, but I'm also pleased to announce that this year, for the first time, we also had representatives from Egypt, Indonesia, Nigeria, Austria, and Sierra Leone. Alhamdulillah, the three days conference had again proven to be a success, and I pray that all the delegates will make full use of the skills and knowledge they have gained. Looking back at the past year, since the last conference, we are witness to the advancements made by MT International through the prayers of our beloved Khalifa and the sheer mercy of Allah the Almighty. With Huzu's permission, I would like to take this opportunity to briefly mention a few key developments. Our biggest privilege is to organize the broadcast of Huzur Anwar's live Friday sermons every week throughout the year. Apart from our regular coverage of Jalsa Salana United Kingdom, our teams also ensured that Huzur Anwar's tours to Germany and Ireland were covered with live broadcasts and documentary reports. We are always thankful to Allah the Almighty for granting us the opportunity to serve Khilafat in this regard through our very humble efforts. Huzur, as you are aware, we are upgrading our transmission system, which is currently being installed by engineers as we speak. This new system will, inshallah, improve the quality of our broadcast and enable us to transmit widescreen video with the potential of broadcasting HD in the future. All of the programs filmed in our London studios are recorded electronically, and in the last 12 months, we have worked hard to strengthen our tapeless infrastructure by increasing storage capacities and improving workflows. Our graphics department has invested in a new real-time graphics system to greatly improve the visual look of our live programs and allow for increased viewer interaction. Huzur, through your guidance, we acquired our own uplink system that enables us to potentially broadcast from anywhere in the world. This will, inshallah, save us on uplink costs and grant us greater freedom for our broadcast needs. The system was launched at the blessed occasion of the inauguration of the Maria Mosque, Ireland, last year in September. As our Jamaat expands by the grace of Allah the Almighty across the globe, it has been Huzu's wish that we should constantly explore new avenues for distributing our content. In this regard, it must be mentioned that the launch of the MTA Africa project has been greatly successful in a relatively short amount of time. Our continued elaboration with Ghana's national television broadcaster, GBC, has allowed the message of Islam Ahmadiyyad to reach new African audiences, and plans are underway for the construction of an MTA studio complex in Ghana to be named Wahab Adam Studios. With Huzu's prayers, the success we have had in Ghana will inshallah be mirrored in other African countries and will have a long-lasting effect on MTA's presence in the continent. Similar expansion has also taken place in other countries. In Bangladesh, the existing studio was completely renovated and fitted with full HD production and post-production facilities. Similarly, in Canada, a new building was acquired and converted into a television studio with accompanying administration offices. I'm happy to announce that both of these studio projects have been completed and are already being used for program recordings, alhamdulillah. Our broadcast facility in Silver Spring, USA, has undergone renovation work 
to upgrade the building as well as the equipment. This project has also been completed by the grace of Allah the Almighty and Huzur on the recommendation of the management board graciously approved the name of the complex as Masroor Teleport USA. Dearest Huzur, this is just a small glimpse of the work undertaken by MTA International over the last 12 months. By Allah's grace, members of all the central departments as well as our studios around the world have been working tirelessly throughout the year. I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for their contributions and I would also like to thank the delegates from taking the time out of their busy schedules to attend this year's conference. I would also like to finally thank the members of the conference committee for organizing the event and for all those working behind the scenes such as the technical teams and kitchen staff who have made this event possible. Beloved Huzur, all the MTA international staff from around the world feel very fortunate that they have been given the opportunity by Allah the Almighty to serve the Jamaat and to play a small role in helping to spread the message of the promised Messiah والسلام, to the corners of the earth. This is only possible through Huzur's special prayers which we are constantly in need of. May Allah the Almighty accept our humble efforts and allow us to reach the high standards expected of us by Hazrat Amirul Mu'mineen, Ayyadakumullah bin Nasir Aziz. Hawa ke dosh pe lakho gharo me dar aya Hawa ke dosh pe lakho gharo me dar aya जो शख्स छोड़ के निकला था घर खुदा के लिए हवा के दोष पे लाखों घरों में दर आया the grace and blessings of Allah the 4th MTA International Conference was held on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of March 2015. This was initiated by Amir al-Mu'mineen, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih V, may Allah be his helper, in order to internationalize the grand system of MTA, uniting our studios from across the world. The foundation of MTA, which was laid by Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih IV, may Allah have mercy on his soul, was to unite the world under the guidance and directives of the Khalifa of the time, something we see reiterated today under the spiritual leadership of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih V on a daily basis. The words of the spiritual head now reach not only every household, but every workplace, every computer, every smartphone, echoing in every corner of the world. Over the course of the past year, since the last international conference, MTA's foreign studios have worked hard to provide viewers with new programs covering a myriad of topics. From the land of the Promised Messiah, salam, Guardian, live programs were provided for viewers in the language of our Master, Hazrat Muhammad Special programs were produced at the occasion of Jalsa Salana, Guardian 2014, Various other programs from India have continued to serve their purpose. من قاديان دار الأمان نقدم لكم هذه الحلقات من الخاصة من برنامج الحوار المباشر. قاديان دار الأمان سے برنامج راہ خدا کی نئی سیریز کے پہلے اپیسوڈ کے ساتھ ہم آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہیں. On the occasion of Jalsa Salana UK. MTA Pakistan Studios produced a historic documentary on the Khilafat of Hazrat Maulvi Nuruddin Razilahuanho and Hazrat Muslim Maud Razilahuanho, treading the footsteps in the places where both these esteemed persons resided. Throughout the year, MTA Pakistan has produced a selection of fresh programs accommodating children and learning Urdu, the language of the Messiah of the Age, and creating programs designed for young and old in developing an interest in Islamic history and generally working closely with MTA International. 
Live programs are now being produced in different parts of the world, including Qadian, Bangladesh and Germany. Islam Feshtehen is a widely watched program throughout the German-speaking parts of the world, where callers can interact with the studio guests and comment or ask questions. Jalsa Salana Germany is a platform which has taken an international form and live transmission is broadcast throughout the course of the blessed three days. Other programs have commenced throughout the year, engaging viewers in a vast selection of subjects. Hazure Anwar drew our attention towards the Spanish-speaking nations as a result of which a program was initiated on the platform of MTA USA Studios, discussing the teachings of the Messiah of the Age, may peace be on him. Another talk show designed to cover socio-moral subjects is Open Forum, which is among the tasks taken on board this year. Alongside these regular programs, MTA USA has contributed to propagating the message of Islam Ahmadiyya to the corners of the world. Programs for French-speaking areas have also been focused on this year. Two new programs have started for this purpose, one being produced here in London's International Studios and the other produced from MTA Canada. This is among the programs ready to be aired on MTA with its first few episodes on the shelf, ready to be brought to the doorsteps of the Francophone areas. Hazure Anwar, may Allah strengthen his hand, drew our attention towards the importance of the journal Review of Religions. A talk show has been formulated to bring to light articles and interesting facts about this monthly research journal from the treasured archive since its inception in the time of the Promised Messiah. May peace be on him. Another series has started on the lives of the great individuals who accepted Ahmadiyyad at the very onset at the hands of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. For all these programs, a new studio has been set up to accommodate the upcoming tasks, which will serve in flourishing the message at hand. This year, MTA Australia has provided numerous programs and a series of shows will soon be making an appearance on MTA, raising awareness on general day-to-day -day issues from health aspects to safety on the road. Under the divine instruction of expanding the House of the Promised Messiah, a fresh look has been given to the studios in order to accommodate the upcoming series. MTA Switzerland has also sought a new premises for recording new programs. Switzerland has provided concise documentaries on various cities and are working on a series of programs for German-speaking people covering social issues. MTA Indonesia has throughout provided content for Indonesian-speaking nations and continue in their contribution to disseminating Islam Ahmadiyya's message. Throughout the year, MTA has received constant contributions from studios around the world, especially in the form of news reports, informing Ahmadis as well as the world at large of the efforts of Ahmadi Muslims around the world. MTA 3 Al Arabiya continued to convey the message of the Promised Messiah Salam, to the corners of the world. Through both recorded and live programs, new programs were added to the already present playlist. And most importantly, Hazu's sitting with Waqfin and Jamia students get played more frequently. Alongside these tasks, MTA3 had the opportunity of relaying the live three-day broadcast of Jalsa Salana UK 2014. Over the last year, MTA has paid special focus on Western Africa and especially Ghana. The new studio being erected called the Wahab Adam Studios will serve the many-fold programs awaiting. Some of these programs have started to broadcast on Ghana's national television channel, GTV, and a special live program was broadcast from Ghana on both MTA and GBC simultaneously. MTA International London Studios also had the blessed opportunity of playing a humble role in conveying the message for Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, may Allah be his helper, to the corners of the earth. اللہ تعالیٰ کے فضلوں کو سمیٹنے کے لیے جس طرح عربوں نے اسلام کے پہلے دور میں اپنا کردار ادا کیا تھا اب اسلام کی حقیقی تصویر دنیا کو دکھانے کے لیے نشت ثانیہ میں بھی اسلام کی نشت ثانیہ میں بھی اپنا کردار ادا کریں In the past year, according to the instructions of Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masih, may Allah be his helper, Bangladesh studios were upgraded and with their new equipment and facilities were able to broadcast scenes of the concluding session of Jalsa Bangladesh. And for the very first time, they were able to broadcast three days of Shottar Shondhane program live from their new studios in Bangladesh. A range of recorded and live programs were produced throughout the year to propagate the message of Islam Ahmadiyyad. Live and interactive programs provided the opportunity to our viewers, both Ahmadi Muslims and non-Ahmadis, to ask questions on various topics or comment on the many discussions.
कदम दोस्तों आगे बढ़ते रहो दम बदम दोस्तों Respected Managing Director Sir, the Directors of MT International, uh, fellow brothers who have joined us from around the world, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. Welcome to the 2015 MTA International Conference. Ham nashi tujko hai ek pur amn manzil. तलाश मुझ को एक आतिश फिशा पुरवर वाला दिल की तलाश मुझ को एक आतिश फिशा पुरवर दिल की तलाश मुझ को एक आतिश फिशा पुरवल वला दिल की तलाश पुरवल वला दिल की तलाश सही ये पे हम और कुंजे आफियत का जोड़ क्या सही ये पे हम और कुंजे आफियत का जोड़ क्या मुझ को है मंजिल से नफरत तुझ को मंजिल की तलाश मुझ को है मंजिल से नफरत एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली माई फर्स्ट टाइम अटेंडिंग दी एम टी कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड इट वॉज एन एक्सलेंट एक्सपीरियंस आई रियली पर्टिकुलरली एन्जॉयड मीटिंग ऑल द पीपल हेयर ऑल द डेलीगेट्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एरियाज एंड सींग वॉट देयर चैलेंजेस आर एंड वॉट देर डूइंग इट वॉज अमेजिंग टू सी दैक्ट दैट बांग्लादेश एंड खाना आर एक्चुअली बिल्डिंग आउट फुल फ्लाइज स्टूडियोज and so hopefully uh, we will be able to you know match their progress in a little bit too so it's very urgent to see all of that many uh, many benefit that i get from the conference this conference very useful for us uh, especially for indonesian studio yeah for example we learn about how to uh, set up the studio how to uh, get the volunteer and etc so alhamdulillah we are learning a lot of things and we are taking new team members from our team here so from different various departments so they can learn and meet um, the headquarter teams here in MT International from the programming department we know what they want from us and we have a concept what we want to produce now and alhamdulillah we will try that we can produce more and more programs now the most uh, beneficial part of this conference is one to one session we have a uh, technical and uh, problems uh, in production and in it areas and here we got chance to meet with technical experts and alhamdulillah we got solutions to our problem and we uh, saw how the work is being done here in mt international practically mr ahmed audi from palestine ajina hona min mta al arabiya ajina al muktamar al mta walhamdulillah istifadna wa kan jayyid jinda alhamdulillah The purpose of this event is for all MTA staff and volunteers working around the country around the world to make sure the message of the Mahdi and the message of the Khalifa reach to the people of the world. This is why we are here so that we see how we can collaborate team up together. <laughs> दिल की तला 
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ اشہد اللہ اللہ وحد لا شریک له واشهد ان محمدا مبعوث ورسولا اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ اور دا پاسٹ فیو ڈیز ایم ٹی اے ہیز ونس اگین بن ایبل ٹو رول اٹس اینول انٹرنیشنل کانفرنس آئی ایم شیور دیٹ آل آف یو ول ہیو لرنڈ اے لاٹ فروم ویریس پریزنٹیشنس اینڈ ڈسکشنس that have taken place over the past three days. <clears throat> you will also have learned from the past experiences of one another. Certainly, with the grace of Allah, the Almighty, MTA is continuing to expand and develop across the world. <clears throat> as has been mentioned in the report of MT Sahib. For example, recently Germany's MT Studio have started to produce some good interactive programs in the German language. In the same way, a number of jamaats in different parts of the world are working well and according to their respective capabilities are producing good quality programs with the grace of allah in every country there are volunteers many of whom are very young who are serving MTA with great distinction and a heartfelt passion to serve. May Allah reward them all. Alhamdulillah, in Ghana, as has been mentioned in the report, a permanent MTA studio is being built and will soon be opened, inshallah. There was some delay because of the fear of the outbreak of Ebola disease in the African region. Various regional programs will be made at the Ghana studios, which will be tailored towards an African audience and made according to their taste and nature. In Ghana, there are now some Ahmadis who work specially, one or two Ahmadis who are very much devoted, who work in the media and they are using their professional skills to serve MTA with great sincerity and this is proving of uh, much benefit. In fact, those individuals I'm referring to have also played a role in the development of the new MTA studios in Ghana because they expressed the need for such a studio with great enthusiasm and sincerity and drew my attention towards the importance of this project. Inshallah, when the studio is completed, it will be of 
an extremely professional standard and of high caliber. Also in Ghana, the students and staff members of Jamia Ahmadiyya Ghana are contributing to a new live interactive question and answer program. This is proving a means for non Ahmadis, Christians, and people of other beliefs to learn about the Ahmadiyya, uh, Ahmadiyya community and to hear firsthand the correct Islamic teachings. In this way, it is dispelling various misconceptions about Islam. Inshallah, when the studio is completed, the, this program will come live from MT Ghana studio. Furthermore, Alhamdulillah, for more than a year now, MTA programs have been broadcast on the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, GBC. And this too has been a very positive means of spreading the message of Ahmadiyya far and wide in the country. In fact, with the grace of Allah, some African people have done bad and entered the fold of Ahmadiyya, having watched these programs. This is just one example that shows that a truly great blessing and prayer Allah has granted the Jamaat in the form of MTA. Certainly, and with the grace of Allah, people are starting to realize that our teachings represent the true Islam. We are now seeing that the focus and attention of uh, the world is moving in the direction of Ahmadiyya. The reach of the Jamaat through all forms of media, whether broadcast, print, or electronic, is continuing to increase. In North America, Europe, Africa, Australia, and elsewhere, the Jamaat is starting to receive much more media coverage, and so millions of people are now becoming aware of our teachings. At a time when certain groups within Islam are doing their utmost to defame and discredit its teachings, we are witnessing how Allah the Almighty is constantly opening new avenues of tabligh for our Jamaat. Unquestionably, MTA is itself playing a great role in spreading the true teachings of Islam to all parts of the world. I have already mentioned how our young volunteers are at the forefront of this effort. And so I hope and pray that Allah the Almighty continues to bless us with such people who are able to serve MTA with sincerity and a spirit of true devotion. And I hope and pray that we are able to take full benefit of this great treasure that Allah has bestowed upon us so that the message of true Islam shines brightly and comes to enlighten every home in the world, inshallah. I am confident that all of you, whichever country you have come from, will return to your homes not only having increased your uh, knowledge and technical skills, but with a renewed desire 
and passion to utilize all of your capabilities to spread the true message of Islam to the corners of the earth. I hope and pray that each of you leave this conference with the determination to serve MTA in the very best way. And I hope and pray that you all return home with a firm resolve to become true helpers and servants of Prophet Sayyid Islam. May Allah enable all of you to do so. Now we shall offer silent prayer. Please join me in silent prayer. Amen. I mean.